everyone on YouTube, it's Andy here from the HD Gaming Room. I'm here to give you a tutorial on how to install the Blackmagic Intensity Pro Capture Card. Now, first off we should mention what you get inside the box. And inside the box you're going to get the capture card itself, you're going to get the breakout cable, you're going to get software manual and you're going to get the software disk to install the drivers and to install the Media Express software. Um, first I think we should go through what the breakout cable is. Now the breakout cable is sim simply goes into the back of the Intensity Pro and it splits the video that comes in and it then can then send it back to your TV. That is all it does. But this this breakout cable is crucial as if it if you are recording your PlayStation 3 because even though the Intensity Pro has a HDMI port on the card itself, the PlayStation 3 can't actually record from HDMI due to HDCP. However, if you have an Xbox 360, you can actually record from HDMI without any problem whatsoever. Now first what you want to do is you want to locate a free PCIe port on inside the PC. Mine are just under my graphics card. What you want to do is you just want to take the um, Intensity Pro and you just want to... It's, it doesn't go in easily but you don't need a lot of pressure. Just make sure you hear a slight pop and then once it's slotted in just screw it into place and you, it's installed then basically because it doesn't take it takes power from the motherboard it doesn't need power from anywhere else. Um, once you've done that you want to um, take the lead that you're going to use um, from your Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 or your Wii and you want to make sure that they go into the right ports on the breakout cable. Now on mine I I've tied up the out ports because I use component in for the PlayStation 3 and I use HDMI out. So I'm recording in component but I'm actually viewing it on my tele through HDMI. What you want to make sure as well is what settings you're using on your Xbox or your PlayStation or your Wii at the moment for display. Um, I'm going to show you in the PlayStation 3 here. What you do is go over to um, system settings, go down to display settings and in display settings it shows it says video output settings or something like that. It's going to be on the screen now. Um, and what you want to do is you want to check what resolution and you want to make sure you're going through component first. You want to make sure that's a component. You want to make sure what resolution, like pick a resolution. Do you want to be recording in 1080p? Do you want to be recording in 720p? Or do you want to be recording in standard def? I want to be recording in 720p because the quality is decent and it doesn't. it's not mega file size as well so 720p is good. You want to click right and um, then it's going to come up for the audio settings. The audio settings, because it's component, I've got to set audio is going through component as well. But if you're on the Xbox, you can set or oh, video and audio is coming through HDMI. Now, once you've done that, you want to turn on your PC and you want to go into your internet browser and you want to type in Black Magic Design. You want to click on software, you want to go down to the intensity section and if you're on Linux or Mac you want to be clicking these two download buttons but I'm on Windows so I'm going to click download there and uh, you want to go down to where it says download now and as you can see it starts to download now I've already previously downloaded this so I'm going to just cancel that and show you where in my downloads there it is you want to extract the files it takes two seconds you want to install this one first, now that is the driver for the Intensity Pro, so you want to install that first and then reboot your computer. Once you've rebooted you want to install the Media Express software, this is for recording purposes. Now once you've done that, you just want to go into Start Control Panel and go into the Black Magic Control Panel. Now this is where you have to remember how your console is connected to the Intensity Pro. If it's connected um, via HDMI you want to be clicking HDMI video and HDMI audio so it gets video and audio from your console. I'm doing component so I want to click the YRYBY video and analog RCA audio. This makes sure that I get component video and audio. Uh, the set output is how you, um, 
how are you getting output from the intensity pro? Are you going from HDMI? Are you going from YR, YB, Y, which is the component from the breakout cable? Or are you going from S Video and PAL, which is standard definition? Uh, I'm using YR, YB, Y, so I'm going to click that. Now, all these, um, you just want to keep the same as the default settings. Now, where it says output processing, this is for if you want to, um, for instance, just say you're uploading your video to YouTube and you want to you want to upload it in high definition. So you want to record it in high definition, right? But you don't have an high definition telly. So what you do is you say, I want to record in HD, but output it in standard def. So you're recording in high definition, but on your TV, it's only going to be in standard def. I don't really use that. The one that I do use though is the input processing when on uh, recording the Wii because this um, converts it from standard def letterbox in widescreen to 1080 so I get HD Wii recordings but if you're just doing Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 and you've got an HD telly you just want to leave them off. Click apply, uh, click yes you get that little error message. Well, it's not an error message, it's like a prompt in I suppose. Click OK uh, and just cancel out that name. Now, next thing that you want to do is you want to go to Start and you want to open Blackmagic Media Express. You want to go into Edit and you want to go into Preferences. Now, this is where you've got to remember as well what resolution you was outputting. Remember I was using 720p, so if you're using um, 1080, then all you want to do is you want to go to 1080 59.94. The 59.94 is the frames per second um, and consoles use 59.94. Um, if you're doing PC it's going to be 60. Also, if you're on the PlayStation 3 and you've got any PlayStation 1 classics like Driver, for instance, um, and then you want to record that, it has to be on the resolution, so 720p, but in 50, because it changes from 60 frames per second to 50 frames per second. Once you've got that, you want to click the capture file format and make sure it's on AVI Motion JPEG. This is the most compressed, but it doesn't, it doesn't, you don't need RAID to do this. Um, the other one, the AVI 8-bit YUV, um, it, it outputs very, very large format uh, file sizes. Sorry, and um, and you, if you don't have RAID, it, the video will be uh, quite choppy, and because um, the hard drive can't keep up with the recording. So most people use the AVI Motion JPEG, and to be honest, the quality is not much different. Um, you want to set a destination for your audio and video files and you want to set a destination for your um, your capture stills if you're taking pictures um, another one that not many people know about is the continue playback when in the background now what this does is if just say you want to record um, your 360 playstation set um, but you want to have the window the media express window minimized on your on your pc if you do that without having that um, checkbox ticked, when you click HDMI on your TV, you know in the AV section, you won't you won't get a picture or send no signal. Um, it, it seems like Media Express has to be the active window for allow you to um, preview it basically in full screen. But if you have that ticked, you can minimise the window and you you can still preview it in full screen and it'll still be recording. So once you've done that, you want to click OK. Uh, and you want to click capture. Now, when you click capture, you just want to turn on your PlayStation 3, your 360, or your Wii once you've got all them settings saved. And you should, in a few seconds, be getting this. So you can see I'm previewing my PlayStation 3. I can go across, I can move about. Um, and all you want to do is, if you want to grab a frame, you just click grab frame and it's took a picture of that. If you want to capture, just click capture. And it's as simple as that really. 
Well, thanks for watching. This has been a video tutorial by me, Andy, from the HD Gaming Room. Please press that subscribe button there. Leave your comments in the section below. Please visit us at hdgamingroom.blogspot.com. And I'll see you again. Peace.